Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Mars Horizon. I am the Beard. It is a pleasure to have you with me today. And this is one that I've been looking forward to getting stuck into for a while. Space is one of my uh, absolute jams. And this one, yeah, it looks good. I've seen a couple of uh, other Let's Plays out there around the internet. Uh, downloaded it a while ago, and I thought we'd give it a try. So here it goes, first playthrough. So let's start, new game. Right, we got a number of uh, space agencies to uh, choose from here. We got the ESA, we got uh, NASA, uh, we got the Soviet Union, we have uh, China, um, and we have Japan. And we can also customize agencies. I think that that's probably what we're going to do. Right, where do we want our agency to come from? Let's pick Europe, customize agency. Uh, what are we going to call this? We're going to call this uh, Beard. Beard X. Hey, yeah, Beard X. That looks like a good one. Uh, we've got some flags here. Hmm, I like that. Yeah, that's cool. What about that one? Yeah, that one. I like that one. Let's do that one. Uh, obviously, this has to be uh, the Beard, Beard X Space Port. Uh, can't be anything else other than that. Uh, traits for the world, global innovation and team player, naught points remaining. Um, Alright, you know, um, I'm happy with those actually. Um, I'm going to be happy with those and I'm actually happy with those too. Uh, let's uh, let's continue. Alright, let's see where that's going for us. Alright, so what are we going to do? We're going to do Explorer, Balanced Experience, Missions Will Provide Challenge, other space agencies will be competitive, we've got Explorer, more relaxed experience, less demanding, there'll be reduced competition, and Veteran. Should we do a Pioneer? Yeah, and we'll enable the tutorial as well. That sounds good. Look at the lovely Earth spinning there. Right, so let's uh, start the game. Welcome, Director. You are entrusted uh, to guiding your agency through this uh, dawning space age and far beyond. Uh, of course, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, make use of our diplomatic expertise to promote international cooperation and scientific innovation and place our agency at the forefront of humans, humanity's voyage into space. Not humans, I mean, humans are a part of humanity after all. Only working together, we can realize feats long thought impossible. With your leadership, we will uncover the mysteries of the solar system and perhaps one day make humans a multiplanetary species. One chance, director. Good, I like those ideals. Kind of why I chose that badge. The Earth, humans spreading off to the stars. So here we go. Right, Earth, tutorial, rocket testing. So we've got to do this. We've got to build a sounding rocket, research a small rocket launch pad, build a small rocket launch pad, and launch a sounding rocket. Right, the solar system is your gateway to the various aspects involved in the running of your agency, such as accessing the research and base screens, selecting plans to discover, available missions, and viewing recent and upcoming events. Cool. So this is Earth. Good. I'm happy with that. So we've already gone through our objectives. Uh, our first objective is a crucial step for a new space agency, constructing and launching an experiment sounding rocket to test and improve your booster technology. Right, I'm happy with that. Selecting the planet, select a planetary body and the solar system will screen all the player list of missions associated with that body. Highlight the Earth and then press that. Okay, so there you go. Oh, right, here are our missions. The mission select screen displays all missions belonging to the selected planetary body. Good. Uh, details of the current selected mission can be seen here, such as the length of the mission and the rewards on offer. Right, so this is the test mission here. Right, so the rewards, uh, let's look at some rewards there. Um, uh, there are two types of missions, milestones and requests. The milestone missions are important for advancing your space program and they will be contested by other agencies. Good. They will often require additional research. Good. Uh, mission requests will become available as your agency completes milestone missions and can be a valuable way of boosting your support. I think that that's, uh, what is this? This is just general support and science levels. Request missions don't require additional research, but each is only available for a limited time. Good to know. Right, research requirements. Research required to unlock the currently selected mission will be listed here. Note that all research required has already been completed for the test launch. That's good. Uh, all of the space agencies will be rating to complete the missions. Doing so will result in increased support from your agency. I think that's probably support there. Here you can track the progress of the five agencies in regards to your currently selected missions. Okay, good. So we can see how they're doing. Once you're ready, select plan mission to start planning the launch mission. Good. Let's plan this mission, shall we? Right, what are we going to do now? The mission plan uh, includes each stage necessary to take the mission from the drawing board up into space. Note that the mission plan takes up one mission slot. You can unlock additional mission slots by constructing mission control buildings. Good. Okay, good. We're going to have to do that. 
uh, a test launch has no payload, so you can get straight to design the launch vehicle. Okay, cool. Right, so select vehicle. Right, build a sounding rocket. On the screen, you'll be able to select uh, previous vehicle designs or choose to start a new design. For the test launch, only sounding rocket speak can be selected. Good. Okay, so this is the vehicle designer. We'll be able to design the vehicle for your mission. All right, uh, vehicles made up of a booster uh, and an upper stage. All right, uh, the booster must be able to carry the upper stage, whilst the upper stage must be able to carry the payload. Okay, got that. Note for a testing launch, only the sounding rocket may be selected, and there is no payload. Good, so we don't need an upper stage, do we? Displayed here are the vehicle stats, where you can check the booster has enough capacity to carry the upper stage, and the vehicle can reach the minimum distance required by the mission. Good. Right, it's all good. Continue. Note that the launch pad requirement is not currently met. The sounding requ requires a small launch pad. You still design and build a vehicle without the requirements of the launch pad, but we need to build a launch pad in order to launch the vehicle. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Right, and then launch reliability. Launch reliability is a key stat that determines the chance of the vehicle launching without an error. Um, an experimental vehicle, the sounding rocket, has a very low launch reliability. However, it will gain a large amount of launch reliability per launch, even if it blows up. Okay, that's good. So let's confirm the design. Uh, right, we can reconfirm. Right, right. Uh, there you go. Construction report. Once the very okay, cool. So once the vehicle has been constructed, you'll receive a construction reports. This will often include traits that may affect how fast you approach the next stage of the mission plan. Good. All right. Uh, if you have the necessary funds, you can start constructing the vehicle. This can take several months. Once the vehicle is complete, you'll be able to move on to the next stage of the mission plan and set a launch date. Okay, cool. All right. Let's uh, let's build the vehicle, shall we? All right, engineers have been construction immediately. Uh, the Valiant will be completed on March 19, 1957 in two months' time. Right, let's go to the solar system. So that's happening. Okay, we're funding, review in 12 months, and the Valiant is complete in two months, right? Now the sounding rocket is constructing, it's time for the launch pad, capable of launching it. The first step is to complete the appropriate small powered launch pad research. Good. Okay, accessing research. Uh, various screens crucial to running agency can be accessed here. When you're ready, select the research icon to access the research screen. All right, research. Awesome. Okay. The research screen is where you can research new technology vital to progressing your space program. The screen is split into three research trees. Missions, uh, buildings, and vehicles. Mm, there you go. Uh, this is the mission tree, which contains the research initiative to unlock all missions and their respective payloads. Okay, cool. So the research node. Nodes that represent certain technology or user research, these nodes often require the completion of other nodes before they can be reached. Okay, that sounds makes sense. And then the costs it requires a certain amount of science to complete. Science can be owned by missions and buildings. Note you can select a new node to view more details on that research. Okay, cool. Research areas. Oh my gosh. Okay, each research tree has been to eras which represent the technological age. Reaching new era, or any tree will unlock new planetary bodies in the solar system screen. Completing all the available research in an era on a tree will grant a powerful reward. Hmm, okay, that's good. Uh, select a building tree. Hmm, okay, cool. Right, uh, the building tree is key to expanding your base and the capabilities of your agency. Okay, good. Uh, small launch pads. We've got an HQ and a building hangar. Uh, so we need to a small launch pad, select the launch pad to view the details and activate research. So here you go. Um, that is the cost is 50k, the upkeep is 5k, build time one month. Uh, let's do that. Research. Good. All right. That's it. I think we're researching this. Cool. All right. Let's go back. What's going on now? All right. Here you can keep track of the resources. Uh, you're running your agency, funds, science and support. Okay, that's good. Uh, support is primarily earned from completing missions. Earning support is key to reaching higher funding tiers, which will increase your monthly fund income. Income is required for constructing vehicles, buildings, and many other key aspects. Good. And then the science is earned from missions and certain buildings, crucial to conducting research. Okay, cool. That sounds good. So we need money and science and support. Upcoming events are related to your agency, which are shown here, along with the number of months before they occur. Good. Past events uh, will appear here, including notable related to other space agencies. Okay, good. So we'll keep an eye on what they're doing over there. And then advanced timing. Pressing next month will advance time by one month. The next event will advance time until the next important event. Please press either of these when you're ready to continue. Good. Uh, we got a space PDA here as well. Look at this. Uh, okay, this is just some information on the ESA. Awesome. Rocketry, sounding rockets. Cool. Uh, all right, rocket. Ooh, this is great. Look at this. Um, there's so much. Uh, there's so much information here. 
Um, they've put so much in here. I'm not going to spend time running through this all, but I'm going to have to at some point because this is just awesome. Uh, they really have gotten some detail there. Right, shall we, um, shall we jump forward? Let's have a look at what the requests are. There's no requests. These are all locked. Um, I'm in the planning stages. They're not even planned yet, so I'm ahead of them, right? Uh, here's my plan. Uh, they're building it at the moment. Good, 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 good. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next uh, next month. Mm. Okay. Ooh, small pad. Launch pad research complete. Okay. All right. So we've got our launch pad up. That's good. Uh, once a new building has been locked, fire the research. It can be structured in your base. That's good. To start construction on the small launch pad, you need to visit the base screen. Ha ah, We've got a base screen. Uh, let's go to the base. Uh, ooh, look at our base. Expanding your base is vital to increasing your agency's launch capabilities and much more besides. On the screen, you'll be able to construct the new buildings that you've researched or remove or demolish existing buildings and clear obstructions to create more space. Good. You can use Q&E to rotate the screen, uh, zoom in and out. Good. Okay, let's, uh, let's try some of that. Um, as you know, research the line, you'll be able to construct it in your base as long as you have the required funds. Cool. All right, so we have that ability. Ooh, look at this. Uh, this is our base. Hmm, okay. Mm, this is looking good, isn't it? All right. Um, let's see. Where are we going to put build? Uh, we've got a launch pad here. Building details. Here we'll be able to see the details we've locked so far. Each building has a unique effect, many of which will be crucial to improving your agency. All right. Buildings also have a build cost and upkeep. Uh, okay. You'll be able to construct one or more buildings. Have their building. Uh, okay, cool. Um, one of most buildings, a uh, small launch pad, build for the first time, select build. If you can't afford it, wait another month to it, you can. I think we can. So our HQ is uh, the nerve agency of our space agency. Okay, so that's one of one, build time. Okay, that's cool, right? Uh, vehicle hangar, um, we've got one of one, uh, we already got those. So we've got one of those already. Uh, let's build the launch pad, shall we? Uh, right, a new building can be placed wherever there is sufficient space. Building on top of a removal obstruction is possible as long as you can afford the additional cost of removing the obstruction. You can rotate the building, use X and Z. Okay, cool. That's good. Each building has potential positive and negative adjacent effects by determining the building it's placed next to. You. Try placing them on the outside different buildings to compare effects. Plan your base layout carefully to get the most out of the positive agency of adjacency effects. And remember, you can always move your buildings later. Okay, that's good. So that looks like a negative there, a negative there, but that's positive. That's a positive effect there, negative there. Um, that looks good. I think that's kind of, kind of where we want it to go, right? Right? How are we gonna? How should we position this? Um, uh, how should we position this? Um, is it turning around? It is. It is. Um, I like the idea of the rocket uh, uh, facing that way. So let's do that. Should we build that? Oh, I think that looks good. Okay, cool. It's now constructing. Once it's complete, you'll be able to launch your first rockets. Okay, good. And uh, we have our first uh, building uh, up and about. That's good. Uh, I like that there. I think that's a really good spot to build that uh, launch pad. Right now, looks good. Right, okay. Let's go back. All right, research. Right, a select new research. Ah, and on the previous research is complete, you only select a new one. A really good early choice is the artificial satellite mission, which will allow your agent to start working towards putting its first payload space into orbit, a major master ocean. Okay, let's do that. Uh, where are we going to go? Missions, artificial satellite. What else we got here? Research labs, rocket testing pads. All right, vehicles. Hmm. Right, vehicle tree. Uh, unlock bigger and better launch vehicles. Okay. Um, vehicle parts. This is the upper stage. Um, so they're booster and upper stage. Learn on the supplementary boosters. Okay. So this is a booster and the upper stage. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Let's do this mission though. Let's research that. Um, let's see what's going on here. Um, so the Valiant is complete in one month and the small launch pad is complete in one month too. Uh, that looks good. Um, how are we doing over here? Nothing over here. Um, how are these guys doing? They haven't even started yet. Oh, okay, next month. Let's have a look. Okay, launch pads are a central service structure. Okay, right, they're complete. That's good. Right, what have we done? Oh, and our test launch, our vehicle is complete as well. 
that looks like our sounding rocket. Our engineers report that the launch vehicle structure is complete without any notable issues. No effect. That's good. Next, launch preparations. Good. All right, mission plans. Right. The final stage of the mission plan involves assigning crew, deciding on a training program, and setting the launch date. That sounds good. Uh, this is an uncrewed mission, so no crew need to be assigned. Training is also locked until the appropriate buildings are constructed. That's fine. Launch date. Okay. The launch date is it. So we need to set a launch date. Right. Optimal. Okay. The calendar screen will select launch date for your mission. Each month represents a launch window. There are three types of launch windows. Optimal, suboptimal, and invalid. Right. Optimal windows are ideal launch dates. Suboptimal windows carry a launch reliability penalty and can be worth risking in order to launch mission earlier. You cannot launch on an invalid window. Um, all right, and the other agencies, progress of other agencies for the current mission here. You'll supposed to see the scheduled launches in the calendar. All right, so none of them have scheduled anything yet. Um, right, this is invalid, uh, suboptimal. Uh, right, let's do that one. Why not? Let's select that date, right? All right, launch date, April 1975. Confirm it. Right, let's confirm this. Confirm that setup. Launch test date approved. Right, they're gonna prep for the launch and we're gonna go to the solar system. Right, so launch is in the month month. Launch date set for the test launch and all that remains is to advance until the time comes next month. Right, let's do it. Oh, we're getting there fast. Right, oh my goodness gracious. Beard X is uh, on the run. Uh, optimal date, no training set, launch preparations. Let's go launch mission. Good stuff. Okay, guys, we are into mission control. Um, focusing in on our launch pad. Uh, looking really good here. This is the uh, Valiant, April 1975. An historic day for Beardex. And there is our sounding rocket. Uh, it looks like we have adequate conditions. Uh, a 26% launch reliability, which is fine. Um, and it looks like... Uh, yeah, we we probably uh, we're probably gonna be probably be okay. Um, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's continue, right? Uh, it looks like it's gonna be successful, and we're off. Off goes our sounding rocket. I think we may have won up into the beautiful sky. Fantastic. Have we won? Alright. Oh wow, okay. We uh, got a little bit of systems damage there. So we have minus 25% mission reward. Uh, so, you know, we, we were okay. Um, negative event. Uh, okay, well, you know. Um, we, did, uh, we did actually manage to uh, get our sounding rocket up. Uh, we got a 15% launch reliability on that, which is great. And we completed the mission. Right, that's great. We were the first to launch the test and we get a couple of rewards there, we get some support and we get a couple of science points as well, which is fantastic. Right, Beardex. Right, congratulations on completing the first tutorial objective. Your test launch was a resounding success, granting your agency valuable support and science. Great. The next tutorial objective involves achieving your crucial milestone from your space agency, replacing your first artificial satellite into orbit such a noteworthy mission is bound to grant valuable science as well as support from a rapt public. Good stuff. Required research. The first step is to deliver is complete the research, the artificial satellite mission, and its mission payload for the research into the... Okay, cool. Um, I think uh, that we... Uh, new Space PD article. Ooh, that's in there, isn't it? Yes, we have lots more rocket fuels, milestones. That's good. We're going to have to tuck back in there. Uh, let's go back to our research. Um, this is busy, busy, uh, busy uh, researching at the moment. So that's fine. I research the mission payload, um, which I think that will get payload here. Yeah, mission payload. Uh, yep, this is what we're going to have to research next. So we're almost there. Um, we can uh, build the mission vehicle. So shall we build a mission vehicle? Uh, let's have a look at this, uh, the artificial satellite launch. We need to get to, uh, for that to unlock, we need to skip it next month. Let's do that. Right, we've got that. Um, right, 
Oh my wish, reached era one, dawn of spaceflight. As rocketing technology advances, so does the prospect of exploring beyond the confines of our planet. Yet the public continue to question whether the fledgling agencies can overcome the dangers of spaceflight. Unlocked the moon. We unlocked the moon. Uh, reaching the first era, you've unlocked the moon. The moon can now be selected in the solar system, where a list of missions to the moon will be shown. Reaching the eras will unlock more planets in the solar system. That's good. Planetary navigation, you can ro navigate quickly between the planetary bodies. Can Q and E. That's good. Let's have a look at this. That's Earth. Um, and that's the moon. And we've got some missions here already, which we can't complete. Lunar orbit, two years crime, this is the mission profile, the mission payload. Ah, okay, cool. Uh, recommended research. Uh, all right, recommended research. They tell you which ones to start researching. That's good. Ah, interesting. Okay. Uh, right, let's uh, let's get back to Earth. What's going on over here? Uh, we are definitely on the test launch. We have really got there. There was second and second. Uh, they go. Oh, they got launched in two months. So we're we're well in it. We're well. We're well ahead of them there. Um, right, um, let's have a look at, uh, where are we again, uh, the base, the research, um, set, set new research, oh, we've got new research we haven't done, alright, let's do this, that, that looks good, let's, uh, research that, uh, so let's, uh, mission payload, alright, we've got that, uh, we've got that down, okay, uh, now the artificial side of mission, the payload of research, you can start the mission plan, good, select the earth, uh, but note you'll need to send, need a free mission slot in order to start a new mission plan. That's good. We can do that. Uh, let's well, there's requests. Um, okay, request missions. Okay, we're gonna maybe try this artificial satellite one first. Let's plan this mission. Suggested mission parts. Okay, we're gonna need these upper stages. Um, all right. Let's uh, let's uh, should we research that? Yeah. Let's research that. Um, plan the mission. Uh, let's have a look. Mission payload. Most missions will include a payload. The satellite or spacecraft just into the mission. The first stage of the mission plan will be designed and construct the payload. Okay. Um, ooh. Um, mission payload will be carried by your launch mission in space and use the mission task that can carry it off launch. Okay. Uh, payload rating is an overall based on the payload's modules. More details on the payload's modules on the mission task can be found by clicking on the more info button. Okay. Payload reliability, okay, that's good. Higher will generally make mission easier to complete, sometimes worth sacrificing for better modules or at cheaper build costs, okay. Uh, mass, mass determines the launch vehicle required for mission. The capacity of the vehicle's upstage can be large enough to carry the payload's mass, right. Okay, that's all right. Uh, build time, two months, continue. Um, and each mission payload has available variants which can be used to further customize the payload. Each variant has strengths and weaknesses compared to standard variant. Okay. So this is the standard. Comms. Improved communications modules. Uh, prototype. Um, and this one, increased power. Hmm. Let's go for standard, shall we? Um, hmm. Increased power. It doesn't really, it doesn't, uh, crew capacity cost. Uh, it changes the cost significantly. This one is really, really, let's do a standard. Let's, let's just do the standard one, shall we? So, uh, they, like they do with vehicles, your engineers will need to deliver a construction report on the payload once it's completed. This can include traits that in play affect your choice, vehicle design in the next stage. Okay, cool. Start construction. Uh, let's do that. All right, go to system. Uh, all right. So we're going to the solar system there. Uh, right, Earth, what's going on here? Um, have they even started? Um, this is the boosters going, and we're going to need the upstage going as well. Um, right, let's have a look at what the requests are here. Uh, this here, we've got no mission slots available here, so we can't even do that one yet. Um, we've got first on that one, so... It's a VR plan here. They're going to be building, completing in two months. Building the payload. All right, that's good. Um, right. Um, let's uh, skip to the next month. All right, we've got our research complete. L early liquid fuel rocket based on earlier sounding rocket designs. Okay, that's good. Um, so we've got that done. Let's try and research an upper stage, shall we? Um, that feels good. 
Um, I feel like we should be researching that upper stage. Um, get that next rocket going. Um, let's have a look at what our mission plan is. This is completed in a month, so we should be finishing that soon, next month. We've built the mission payload. Look at this. All right. Our payload has been done. Standard payload. Erso 2B, standard. Key performance improvements made during the payload assembly. Your engineers predict reducing compatibility with the launch vehicle. Reduced compatibility with the launch vehicle. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, all right. We're going to design the vehicle next. Uh, right, an artificial satellite. Um, select the vehicle, right? Um, what are we going to do? Um, we've got a mission payload. We've got to design a new one. So the upper stage, to launch this mission, we'll need a vehicle capable of carrying the payload to its destination. The vehicle is made up of a booster and an upper stage. Select the upper stage to get started. Hmm. The upper stage... Available upstages. Here you'll find the upstage plenty available to your agency. Select one of them to view their stats. Hmm, none. Okay. Uh, right, that's an upper stage that Topaz would carry the payload. Um, payload equal capacity to the payload's mass. Alright, that's fine. Okay. Alright. Uh, and the upper stage, another vital status upstage mass. This will determine the size of the booster required to, to carry it. That's uh, also fine. Um, then designing vehicles, you'll commonly use parts you haven't researched yet. This can be the best way to design the perfect vehicle for the mission and won't prevent you selecting the vehicle. Have you need to research the required parts before construction can get started? Okay. For most missions, a good rule is to select an upper stage with the payload capacity close to the payload's mass in order to save on build cost and time. However, there will be some circumstances where larger parts are better suited. When you're happy with your choice, press select part. Okay, let's have a look here. So this is the Topaz, level one. Uh, this is the Scout. Mm -hmm. um, didn't we just, what's the launch? 10% on that, 23%. Um, that's really oversized. Um, that's really oversized. I think we're going to do this. Let's select the part there, right? So that's it. Now I have to select an upstage. The time to select a booster to carry it, right? Okay. Um, right, let's select uh, the booster. Um, right, here you'll find all the current available boosters. Further boosters and upstage will be added as you research new errors. Select a booster to see its stats, right? Um, main requirement of boosters is able to carry the upper stage. This means its lift capacity must be at least equal to the mass of the upper stage. Another important stat is the required launch pad. This will determine the size of the launch pad needed to launch the vehicle. Right, boosters and upstages will gain an experience level every time they're used in a launch, up to a maximum of five. Each level gains provides an increase to the launch reliability for that part. Different parts gain different amounts of launch reliability per level. Parts that start with a low reliability but gain a lot of reliability may be a good investment if you're willing to risk a few uncertain early launches. To view more of info about a part's level, hover the cursor over its level text. Okay, all right, there you go. Uh, all right, okay. Um, this one here, though, small launch pad, 400 kilograms. This is also a small, ooh, no, okay. We've got this one. We've researched this one. Um, you must read, okay. So we've researched this part here. Uh, so we're gonna select that part there. Um, right, you can check whether your better completion, it's not trying different combinations. Okay, cool. We're all combined there. Um, confirm the design. Happy with, okay, cool. Right, I mean, three months build time, 53%. I think we, I think we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Can, can we name, can we name this vehicle? Oh, uh, Seraphic. Uh, oh, uh, we're just gonna put an X at the, at the end of, of, of every one of these. And um, we're gonna confirm that design. Right, cool. Uh, required research. One or more parts of the vehicle using your vehicle need research. Construction, select this button, navigate to the vehicle research tree where the required research nodes will be highlighted. Okay, let's have a look. It's being researched. Um, Unresearched vehicle parts, your arm will be highlighted with this icon. Researching these parts, okay, well, we're, we're researching it, so uh, that's fine. Uh, we can do that. Uh, we're getting there. Um, right. Um, 
We've done that. We've done that. Run that. Right. Build vehicle. Right. Let's do it. Okay. Um, ooh, okay. Let's have a look at what's going on over here. Uh, art there. So second. Japan was second. Uh, China is about to be third. Uh, America hasn't even started. <laughs> America has not even started. Let's uh, see what happens now. Okay. Upper stage has been uh, completed. That's good. Um, all right, vehicles, all of the required research for your vehicle has now been completed. This means construction of the vehicle can start. All right, let's build the vehicle. Um, all right, uh, let's go. All right, let's go to solar system. All right, so they are doing that. So we've got no research. Suggested vehicle parts. Fire back moon, unlock on go. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm, you know, that's, that's, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not happy with that. I want to do some more buildings. Uh, let's have a look at what our buildings can add. So, rocket test pad, uh, reliable launchers, uh, space cross, uh, clean, add the complex mission payloads, unlocks mission training, okay, uh, unlocks, uh, I want to know what, which one of these do you think we should go first? Uh, more reliable launchers, um, or greatly improve scientific yields from missions, um, I'm not sure which one to go for first. Um, I'm thinking vehicles, but uh, the missions are also quite cool to go for. I mean, should we go for lunar orbit? We might as well start researching lunar orbit now um, while we wait. Um, you know, get get that there so we can get in ahead of them. Uh, funding review. Uh, okay, let's go to next month. NASA is launching test launch in nine months. Oh, NASA is really behind. China is launching artificial satellite 12 months. Okay, nine months. We, we, we're good. We're almost there. Um, right, we've built the mission vehicle. Here it is. We've got our mission vehicle up. Right. Our engineers have reported that the launch vehicle construction is completed without any notable issues. So no effects. I'm actually happy with that. So let's uh, prep things. Uh, we've got an uncrewed mission and there's no training. So let's set a launch date. Definitely January. We're definitely going to do that. Um, yep, 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 confirm the mission setup, yep, I'm happy with that, go to solar system, right, all right, gonna launch the artificial satellite in a month, um, so we are, uh, artificial satellite, uh, one month, uh, we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there, guys, let's go, uh, right, budget review, the agency's performance of the last 12 months has been reviewed, your budget has been adjusted accordingly, we got a couple more money. I think we got a bit more cash. We did. We did. We did. Accept and continue. All right. Lunar orbit research complete. Cheating the lunar orbit is endeavor. Any space agency required the payload capabilities not only from the moon, but also careful course corrections to maintain orbit around it. Okay. I think that's good. We've we've done that. All right. We're going to do the artificial satellite quickly. Uh, optimal date. No training set. A low risk. Let's go. Launch mission. All right. Here we are, mission control of Bedex, uh, out to our satellite uh, launch, uh, Sierra FX, January 1958, one year later, um, and here we go. Uh, we are in good conditions, we got a 7% uh, uh, addition to our launch reliability, uh, already 60% I think in total. Um, so we should be good. We should have a really high launch success. Uh, let's continue. Countdown. And uh, we have liftoff. We do. We have liftoff. It's looking good, everyone. Woo! Clear skies. And it looks like we have our rocket up into the sky. Let's have a look. Yes. Secure mission. No mission effects. That's awesome. So that means that uh, we got a level boost on our booster and on our upper stage as well. That's a little bit of increased reliability there. Continue. Awesome. Look at this. Oh, yes. So we've got our artificial satellite out into the orbit. Now it's time to try and... Uh, Achieve Earth orbit. Okay. Now this is a new thing. What are we going to do? Collect. 
cons and data. Okay. All right. This is interesting. During mission tasks, you need to issue commands to the payload in order to achieve the task objective. Okay. Task objective. The current task objective is shown here. It's to be complete the task. You need to generate the required resources. Okay. Resources are generated via payload commands. Each command requires a specific input in order to generate an output resource. Okay. Once you have a limited amount of commands per turn, so choose each wisely. This is the planning phase of the turn, so you can fully undo and reselect commands you wish. Try different combinations to generate the resources required. Okay, when you're happy with your selected commands, select the Confirm Commands console to continue. Each command will be attempted by the payload in the order they were selected, with a chance of error based on the payload reliability. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we want to click these. So let's, um, what do we got? We've got none of those. Um, all right, I get it, I get it, I get it. Uh, so let's do this, return signal test, which will give us one of those. Um, and let's do a data visualization test, which will give us one of those. Let's do this. All right. Oh, okay, signal turn uh, is completed. That's good. Um, and... Uh, and just the data, visual data collection is complete. That's good as well. All right. Okay, so we've got one. Ah, I get it, I get it, I get it. We've got to get to two into two. Okay, and we've got those there. Uh, recharge power. Yeah, let's recharge power. So, okay, turn is complete. We've got three turns. Okay, we've got to recharge instead of a normal command. Okay, that's good. Let's recharge power. Um, recharge power. One. No, undo, undo. So let's go recharge power. And uh, let's try and get... Should we do a ground, ground con control connection? Let's try that. Um... Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we've recharged the power. And we've got a ground control connection. Successful. That's good. Yes. We've upped it, so we're going to get our bonus reward. We need three of those now. Right, so let's... Uh, let's try and get one of those. Right. And then we'll do... An atmospheric sampling, shall we? Or shall we try and recharge the power and then do an atmospheric sampling? Uh, let's do a recharge power. A recharge power, and then uh, if we spend one of those, we'll get three of those. Let's let's do that, right? Um, right. Let's see what happens. We're gonna recharge power. Good. Oh no, we failed. No, oh, fail. Oh, that's not good. Camera shot a failure. Okay, resist. Let's try and resist. Resist, resist, resist. Yes, it worked. Okay, cool. Bonus objective. Right, every mission have a bonus objective. Okay, so we've got that. Now we've just got to try and get one more. So let's do a recharge power and then do a signal return test. Last turn. Let's see if we can get this. Recharge power. And yes, we're going to get it. Oh, that's brilliant. We almost have had a 91. Control breakthrough. Came with software that has increased our location. This command just... Yes, yes, except... Okay, good. We've got it. Boom, boom. Look at that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All the achievements unlocked there. We did it. We got there. Artificial satellites. We are the first. We got lots of support there. We got uh, 200 science points for two months, 300, and a lot of support points there. So we're on tier two. That was good. That was really good. That was really successful for Beardex there. Really, really happy about that. So satellite in orbit. Uh, we got everything. So artificial satellite safety in orbit. You've achieved a male milestone for the agency and opened the door for launching more complex payloads, perhaps even those that carry humans into space. For such formidable challenges, it's crucial mission staff receive the right training. This can be a great benefit in increasing the key stats such as reliability payload and the mission science reward. 
construction is the appropriate buildings in your base to unlock new avenues. So the research lab, the rocket test pad, and the spacecraft assembly to each unlock certain type of training. Choose one of these pieces of buildings to research and build. All right, let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look. What are we researching at the moment? We're not researching anything, are we? Uh, buildings. Let's do the uh, research lab. Uh, scientific yield for missions. Uh, more rigorous, uh, reliable launches. Uh, let's do the rocket launching pad first. Right, and I think that that is where we are going to end this episode, everyone. We've successfully launched two rockets. Um, we have uh, really ahead of all of the other space agencies, uh, and uh, I'm enjoying this. I hope you are too. Please leave a comment below if you've got something to say, and I will see you all for episode two, where we shall continue our march forward into space as Beard X. Until then... Please stay safe, wear a mask, I am the Beard, signing out.